Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. And in this video, we're going to be looking at Voice Commander from Creationauts. So I'm going to be using my iPhone and this app to use voice activation to control key switching in Logic. Let's take a look. Here I've got a Logic project open and Voice Commander set up on the side. Now I've got Logic's internal string instruments and I want to record a part and I want to use a couple of different articulations, the sustain articulation and the staccato. And I want to switch between them using voice commands. So I'm going to go under MIDI and hit plus and I'm going to use the note number C in the minus one octave to switch to the sustain articulation. So here for status, I'm going to choose note and for octave, it'll be minus one and C and I'm going to call this long. Let's set up another one for short. I'm going to hit the plus button here and same thing. MIDI channel one is fine. Status is note. And here I'm going to use F sharp minus one. So that's the octave I want and F sharp, we need to scroll a bit. Now, it's very important that we use a non-zero value for the velocity. So anything other than zero will work. I'm going to name this one short. And let's go back to long, just make sure we set this to a non-zero value. And let's give it a try. Short. Long. Okay, let's try recording our first part. Short. Long. Short. Long. I've got a contact instrument here and I want to use voice commander to switch articulations between the D0, which is dynamic expressive long, and this A0 for a short sound. So let's start setting up our voice command routines here. So there's the first one. I'm going to call this one vibe for vibrato. And here we're going to send a note message again. And we see the key switch note is D0. So I'm going to set my octave to zero and the note to D and this to be a non-zero value. And let's create another one. And I'll call this one SPIC. I like using one syllable because it's easier for Voice Commander to understand. Same thing, MIDI channel one, note message. This one's going to be zero octave and A. And again, a non-zero value. Let's give it a try. SPIC. Vibe. All right, let's try recording a part. Spick. Vibe. Spick. Vibe. And here's what that part looks like. We can clearly see the key switch notes here. Now we can also use Voice Commander to actually generate notes and input notes right into the piano roll or score. So for example, let's say I wanted to generate some A5s. I'm going to create a new event here and I'll just call it real quickly A5 and we're going to have it generate a note message and we'll set the octave to five and set this to A and again we can set the velocity to whatever we want so here as long as the MIDI input is enabled we can send this message and boom there it enters the note and of course that'll work with voice command as well Voice Commander works with other types of MIDI messages as well. Here we'll use program change messages to switch between instruments and contact. I'm going to start by calling up a new empty bank. And it's important that this is set to Omni for the port. And let's populate it with a couple of instruments. I'm going to go to Chris Hine Violin. And I'm going to load this into program change slot two because there's an offset of one 
program change message with logic, and I'll load a bass here into three. And we can now use this to switch between the instruments. So here in logic, I've got this set to MIDI channel two, since MIDI channel one is reserved for logic's performances. So let's set up a couple of simple voice commands. Here's the first one, and I'll call this violin. And we'll set this to MIDI channel two, and the message will be program change. And one is going to be the patch number. And let's set up another one. And I'll call this bass. And same thing here. We're going to go to MIDI channel two. Status will be program change. And we're going to use two over here. So now when we open this up, we should be able to switch by using our voice commands. Bass. Violin. Bass. So that's an idea of some of the ways you can use Voice Commander with Logic. This is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Expert signing out.